Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 1, Week 7 Milk Base Let's learn about Solving problems involving division of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers Lesson 2 After going through this lesson, you are expected to Solve routine problems and non-routine problems involving division of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers including money using appropriate problem solving strategies and different steps in problem solving. Hello kids! Today, we are going to study about solving problems involving division of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers. Let's start our lesson by doing the following activities. Learning Task 1 Answer the following Number 1 The quotient is 6, the divisor is 10. Give the dividend. To get the answer, Multiply the quotient and the divisor, 6 times 10. Correct! The answer is 60. 60 is the dividend. Number 2. How many tens are there in 530? Very good! The correct answer is 53. There are 53 tens in 530. Number 3. What will be the quotient if 700 is divided by 100? Correct! The answer is 7. 7 is the quotient of 700 divided by 100. Number 4. In 8,900 divided by 10, what is the answer? Correct! The answer is 890. Number 5. The quotient is 9. The dividend is 9,000. What is the divisor? To get the divisor, divide the dividend and the quotient. Very good! The correct answer is... 1,000. The divisor is 1,000. Read and analyze the problem. Pepe has 20 dozens of eggs to be placed equally in 5 baskets. How many eggs will be each basket? What is asked in the problem? Very good! The number of eggs to be placed in the basket. What are given? Correct! The given are 20 dozens of eggs and 5 baskets. What is the operation to be used? Correct! The operation to be used is division. What is the number sentence? Very good! The number sentence is 240 divided by 5 equals N. And now, let's get the solution. 240 divided by 5. First, identify if the digit in the highest place value of the dividend can be divided to the divisor. 2 divided by 5. It cannot be divided. Because the dividend 2 is lower than the divisor. And now, we will divide the 2 digit from the dividend, which is 24. So, 24 divided by 5 can be divided. 24 divided by 5 is 4. And then, multiply 4 to 5. 4 times 5 equals 20. 
And now, subtract. 24 minus 20 equals 4. Then bring down 0. And now, divide again. 40 divided by 5 equals 8. And then multiply 8 to 5. 8 times 5 equals 40. And then subtract. 40 minus 40 equals 0. So the quotient is 48. There are 48 eggs in the basket. And now let's move to learning task 2. Solve the given problem. Number 1. There are 4,000 mangoes to be placed equally in 25 baskets. How many mangoes will be in each basket? The given are 4,000 mangoes and 25 baskets. So divide 4,000 divided by 25. 40 divided by 25 equals 1. Then multiply 1 times 25 equals 25. Then subtract, 40 minus 25 equals 15. Then bring down 0. Then divide 150 to 25. So 150 divided by 25 equals 6. And then multiply 6 to 25. 6 times 25 equals 150. And then subtract. 150 minus 150 equals 0. Then bring down the last 0 from the dividend. Then divide. 0 divided by 25 is 0. Then 0 times 25 is 0. Then subtract. 0 minus 0 equals 0. So the quotient is 160. The correct answer is, there are 160 mangoes in each basket. Number 2. After a good harvest, Mr. Celso set aside 6,336 to be shared equally by his 12 workers. How much will each worker receive? So the given are, 6,336 pesos is going to be divided to 12 workers. First, we will divide the two digit from the dividend which is 63 to 12. 63 divided by 12 is 5. Then multiply 5 times 12 equals 60. And then subtract 63 minus 60 equals 3. Then bring down 3. And then we will divide again. 33 divided by 12 equals 2. And then multiply 2 times 12 equals 24. Then subtract 33 minus 24 equals 9. And then bring down 6. And then we will divide again. Divide 96 to 12. 96 divided by 12 equals 8. Then multiply 8 times 12 equals 96. Then subtract. 96 minus 96 equals 0. So the quotient is 528. Now, the correct answer is each worker will receive 528 pesos. Number 3. Lisa bought an appliance for 6930 with zero interest payable installments for six months. How much should she pay monthly? Divide 6,930 to six months. We can divide the digit from the dividend which is six to the divisor six. Six divided by six equals one. And then multiply one times six equals six. And then subtract, 6 minus 6 equals 0. Then bring down 9. And then divide, 9 divided by 6 equals 1. And then multiply, 1 times 6 equals 6. Then subtract, 
9 minus 6 equals 3. Then bring down 3. Next, divide again. 33 divided by 6 equals 5. Then multiply. 5 times 6 equals 30. Then subtract. 33 minus 30 equals 3. Bring down 0. Then divide. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. Then multiply 5 times 6 equals 30. Then subtract. 30 minus 30 equals 0. The quotient is 1,155. Therefore, the correct answer is she should pay 1,155 monthly. Number 4. Earl paid 975 pesos for 15 cans of paint. How much was the price of each can of paint? Divide 975 to 15 cans. First, divide 97 to 15. 97 divided by 15 equals 6. 6 times 15 equals 90. Then 97 minus 90 equals 7. Bring down 5. Divide 75 divided by 15 equals 5. 5 times 15 equals 75. 75 minus 75 equals 0. So the answer is 65. Each can is 65 pesos. And number 5, the Scoutmaster bought a tent worth 1,840 pesos for the four tents to be used in the upcoming camping. How much is the price of each tent? Divide 1,840 to 4 tenths. So first, divide 18 divided by 4 equals 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. 18 minus 16 equals 2. Bring down 4. Then 24 divided by 4 equals 6. 6 times 4 equals 24. 24 minus 24 equals 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 4 equals 0. 0 times 4 equals 0. 0 minus 0 equals 0. So the quotient is 460. 460 pesos is the price of each tent. And now let's move to learning task 3. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Mary bought a buy one take one bag. She paid 1,654. How much did each bag? A. 800 pesos. B. 827 pesos. C. 839 pesos. Or D. 842 pesos. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter B, 827 pesos. Number 2. Nancy orders 200 red roses to be placed in 8 big vases. How many roses will each vase have? A, 10, B, 15, C, 20, or D, 25. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter D, 25. Each base will have 25 roses. Number 3. 12 scouts are asked to make 492 cotton balls for their school clinic. How many cotton balls should each scout make? Letter A, 44. B, 43. C, 42. Or D41. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter D41. Each scout should make 41 cotton balls. Number 4. The grade 4 pupils needs 1175 straws to be used in their math project. If there are 47 pupils, how many straws 
did each pupils need to collect? A20, B25, C30, or D37? What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, 25. Each pupil should collect 25 straws. Remember, in order to solve routine and unroutine problem, follow these steps. First, know what is asked and what are given. Second, know the operation to be used. Third, write the number sentence. Fourth, write the correct units and label your answer. And lastly, review and check your answer. Kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!